Now, if you've played through the main campaign, you'll know the Iskal Queen used to casually hang out in the open world. With the swamps, of course, as DLC, that throne is now abandoned. But what if we told you there was still a secret to be found there? Hello everyone, my name is Livid and today you'll find out how to unlock the secret luminescent trait as well as a few other secrets. Now this secret functions a bit like the Swamp Graveyard quest, only in that you are going to need the Parasite buff at some point. The good news is, this doesn't need to all be done in one rolled instance of the world. The bad news is, I've still found getting one of the spawns to be pretty rare. But enough of that, let's get into the details. The first thing you'll need to find is the abandoned throne tile to spawn. The objective here is to try and kill all the beetles that spawn as rapidly as possible here until the queen beetle spawns and tries to scurry away. Now I did have a little trouble getting this to work immediately, so what I did was kill everything around and immediately go and stand on the stairs to the abandoned throne. From here, I then rapidly killed the beetles that I could see, and the queen beetle eventually spawned. Now once it does, quickly kill it, and you'll be awarded the opalescent shell. Now what do you do with it? You're going to look for a dungeon to spawn called the Strange Pass. Now I've had it every single time spawn look like this, with a watchtower looking structure on top of the cave entrance. Now it isn't always the Strange Pass, but every time it was, that is what it looked like. Now once inside, you should come across the parasite giving enemy at some point. Let it infect you because you will have to have it for the final room in this area. Entering this final area, you will come across Margash, the brain bug. Now by being infected, you will come across as kin to him and will allow you to both buy things from him as well as provide unique dialogue options. Speaking with him while having the opalescent shell will reward you with a luminescent trait which gives you a 30% increased chance to double Luminate Crystal Drops. Now once you're done with Margash, and you don't need to trade with him anymore, killing him will reward you with the gift of Iskal Ring, allowing you to generate mod power over time, but reducing the wearer's healing effectiveness by 25%. And that about wraps it up. Now I hope you all found this video helpful, and if you're looking for some people to play Remnant with, or just some cool people to hang out with, join our fast-growing community over on Discord. We have an amazing group of people from all sorts of games over there, and we'd love to continue to build up our Remnant community. Now as always, my name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.